All right, it's 915. It's an armadillo with a few unique features. Yes, indeed. The name says it all. Screaming, hairy armadillo. And here to explain what is behind these adaptations, Amanda Chambers with the Cincinnati Zoo. Amanda, thanks for coming in. Tell us about Rose. So this is Rose, and she is one of our many ambassador armadillos at the zoo. Uh, she's a screaming, hairy armadillo, and they're called that specifically uh, because they have a loud, loud squeal when they're upset, and they have this really, really really long hair that most armadillo species you would not see this long long hair on them so no. specifically that's why they're called that as the name implies they are a desert species of armadillo okay. most are rainforest but they do live in the deserts in Argentina mostly oh. um, so that could account for for the long hair for sand protection um, they dig in sand burrows they avoid the heat they avoid the sunlight so they'll actually it's really cool some of my favorite things to tell about them is they love to eat insects okay, okay. and so they'll dig burrows underneath carcasses and then wait for the bugs to, to come eat the carcass, the carcass and then they'll eat the bugs that come to the carcass right isn't that amazing that yeah. they know to do that so it's one of my sneaky, favorite favorite things the about them hairy like, screaming yes. that kind of belies that you call this thing rose i know <laughs> well, and she's waiting under a damn yes. thing i'll tell you why she has her name we name them all because of that screaming that they do yeah. these armadillos are generally always born in pairs a brother and sister pair oh, so really? her brother is axel for axel and oh. rose oh. yes because of the screaming. So we have Alice and Cooper, another sibling oh, yeah. pair. You guys are my and we favorite. have Rose and Bonnie, or um, Bonnie and uh, Clyde. Clyde. Yes. Yeah. So there we go. Is there any way to describe what the, because we don't want, we do not want to. Because they only upset. scream if they get really scared. Yes. Right? We don't and want our, to do that. And we, I've actually never heard this armadillo okay. scream. We've, we've had her since she was a baby, and we avoid upsetting them at all okay. costs. So is it, is it, I mean, is it, is it loud, loud? Piercing? It is loud, loud. I've heard her parents scream and it's really, really loud. It's oh. really loud. Oh. So luckily ours don't, ours don't do that. All you right. guys oh. can give her a pet. I would like to pet her as we wrap things oh. up. Oh, the Zoo Babies event is going on, I know, yes. through the 31st. Yes, so oh. got to come see those new manatees. We have four orphan manatees that are new to our zoo. Cute. Uh, so see those babies. Of course, Fiona is always going to be oh, the yeah, precious star, baby. Yeah. Different yeah. primates, uh, the little aardvark Winsel. Lots of babies to see there. And awesome. then Kendi the rhino who always gets overlooked. But you got to look, check out Rose with her long, lustrous mane. Yes. Anyway, I, I'm Amanda, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. I feel like if I was an armadillo, I'd be a hairy armadillo. <laughs> 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 All right, it's 918. We'll be right back. <laughs>